Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everyone, my name is Farah Zidaushi. I am from SMPT Senawa Cendekia. Now, I want to tell you a story about Little Red Running Home. Once upon a time, there lived in a curtain village a little country girl, the prettiest creature who was ever seen. Her mother was actively fond of her, and her grandmother dwelt on her even more. This good woman had a little red running hood made for her. It suited the girl so extremely well that everybody called her little red running hood. One day her mother, having made some cakes, said to her, Go my dear and see how your grandmother is doing, for I hear she has been very ill. Take her cake and this little pot of butter. Little Red Riding Hood set out immediately to go to her grandmother, who lived in another village. As she was growing through the wound, she met with Wolf, who had a very good meal to eat her up. But he did not, because of some woodcutters working nearby in the first. He asked her where she was going, the poor child, who did not know that it was dangerous to stay and talk to Wolf, said to him, I am going to see my grandmother and carry her a cake and this little pot of butter from my mother. Does she live far off? said the wolf. Oh, I say, I swear, little red running hood, it is beyond that meal you see there at the first house in the village. Well, said the wolf, and I'll go and see her too. I'll go this way and give you that, and we shall she will be there first. The wolf ran as first, as he could, taking the shortest path, and the little girl took a roundabout way, entertaining herself by gathering nuts, running after butterflies, and gathering buckets of little flowers. It was not long before the wolf arrived in the old woman's house. He could knock it at the door, tap, tap, whoosh dear, your grandchild. Little red running hole. Who comes some time afterwards and knock it at the door? Tap, tap. Who's there? Your grandchild. Little red running hole. Replied the wolf, counterfeiting her voice. Who has broke your cake and little pot of butter sent to my mother? The good grandmother, who was in bed because she was somewhat ill, cried out, pull the bobbin and the latch will go up. The wolf pulled the bobbin and the door opened it. And then he immediately fell upon the good woman and ate her up in a moment. For it had been more than three days since in here eaten. And then go into the grandmother's bed, expanding little red running hope. Who comes some time afterwards and can knock it at the door. Tap, tap. Whoosh, dear. Little red running hood, hearing the big voice of the wolf, would add a first fright by believing her grandmother had called and was hers. And swear, it is your grandchild, little red running hood, who has broke your cake and little pot of butter mother sends you. The wolf cried out to her, softening her voice as much as she could. Pull the bobbin and the latch will go up. Little red running hood, pull the bobbin and the door open it. The wolf cried off to her, softening her voice, hiding himself under the bed clothes. Put the cake and the little pot of butter upon the stove and come get into bed with me. Little red riding hood took off her clothes and go into bed. She was certainly amazed to see how her grandmother looked in her night clothes and said to her, Grandmother, what big arms you have? All the better to help with my dear. Grandmother, what big legs you have? All the better to run with my child. Grandmother, what big ears you have? All the better to her with my child. Grandmother, what big ears you have? All the best to see with my child. Grandmother, what big teeth you have got? All the better to eat you up with. And saying this word, this week fell upon the little red riding hood and ate her up. The moral of story is, children should never talk to strangers. Thank you for watching. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.